Okay guys, welcome back. So we are going to do a little follow on video from uh, the video where we launched the new VA Nemesis yes, shaft. that's right. Uh, we got some great results. Really did. Uh, with that one, some really, really good, especially in the dispersion and, and kind of taking away some of the, the, the rightness for you. For me, yeah, definitely. Uh, moving that strike a little more inward and in, in that head. So where we want to expand on that is to talk about the options that go with a shaft like that, what it gives us yeah. as, as club fitters and subsequently into the build because I think we've not really dived into yet on the channel enough about the implications of the fit on the build. Definitely not, no. And this would be the perfect opportunity for it, having just kind of talked about it more in performance, I yep. guess, not so much in balancing the club mm -hmm. with total weight and swing weight. Yeah. A lot of people uh, watching the channel, if you're very familiar when we do these tests, we're, we're always conscious of the, the head weight we use mm -hmm. and, and balance point, things like that. But we've never really done a video where we dive into it and start shifting that up you know that swing weight up and down the scale i mean and, and the scenario we want to paint is the the player who walks into the store gets their driver go realizes that it's not the grip of their choice mm. or, or something like that there's something and then they go and change it gotcha so they, they all of a sudden they go from their 50 gram golf pride grip which right. is very standard grip weight to they really like the new align with the, the plus four technology and the half cord. Gotcha. So they go to this and this is now 67.5 grams. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden the balance point completely changes on that club. Right. So, you know, there we're, we're dealing with more total weight, but a change to the balance point. Right. So then- Just from regripping Just basically. from doing that. And then you take a, you, you go for a fit and then you all of a sudden you, you fall in love with the VA Nemesis and that's the one for you and it's the highest balance point you know grip out there so all of a sudden you really love this grip mm. and you've got the, the highest balance point oh, okay. sort of uh, shaft on the market yep. then all of a sudden your driver doesn't work very good anymore it doesn't feel very good mm. you know the the swing weights in the kind of like you know, C8, C9 range, right. and all of a sudden you just can't feel the head. Mm. So all of a sudden your $700 Canadian purchase for your M5 feels horrendous. Feels bad, yeah. You default back to thinking about the day you were fit for it and go, well, I had it so good the day I right. was fit. You're dealing with a completely different golf club. Mm. What we're gonna you know, give you a little insight today is how the, the different components uh, influence the balance of the golf club. Right, and how sensitive it is to changes Correct. in just about anything. Definitely, whether it's uh, a light grip, whether it's a standard weight grip, or whether it's a heavy grip, we even have additional head weights mm. to, to balance it out. So right. we're gonna be looking at it, that. So we're building up probably four or five different combos uh, for Matt to test here. He doesn't know which one he's gonna test. No, so it's gonna be blind. It's gonna be a complete blind test. I've kind of charted out some different combos for us to try. And you'll make changes to it kind of between That's shots it. and then we'll look at the data and just, you'll tell me afterwards. Really. You'll just hit kind of a nice selection of seven or eight shots with each one. And then after it, we'll look at how the dispersion changed, mm. how the ball speed changed, launch, launch and spin, et cetera, et cetera. Smash in. I like those ones. It looked like it had more on it, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Interesting. I mean, I can definitely feel the head a lot more. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the beauty of it, isn't it? Yeah, I hope you that's... You start to go, hmm, what am I sensing? You know, I, feel, well, I hope that's right, or... good 
Nice. A little different this one, I think. like that one. Shapely. That was a bad swing. So, kind of six different combos, playing with uh, standard head weights, heavier head weights, obviously um, shifting balance point around. So, so starting at number one, uh, we had a swing weight uh, of D1.5. Okay. So that was the standard two weight configuration. When we started. Yep. Standard Nemesis sh sh shaft, no, no alterations, and a sonar grip. And a standard grip, okay. So that would be our baseline combo. Yeah. Very standard, nice, nice set of results, was just right of the line, uh, sorry, left of just the line on average. Good, good. I thought it was pretty good. It felt a hair light, which makes yeah. sense, D1 and a half, but it, I, I would have probably gotten into a nice groove with it if yep. we kept hitting. Very, very good. So uh, on the next one, all we done to change it was we added the additional weight to it. Another one in, yes. in the... Yep. T-track here. Exactly. Um, so anytime I had two weights, I had them neutral in the middle. Mm -hmm. Anytime I had three weights, I had one in the heel, one in the toe, and one in the middle. Gotcha. So always trying to be unbiased towards the rotation mm. of the head. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so the total weight went up by nine and a half grams. That's okay. the weight of the slider That's what weight. This okay. And the swing weight went up by six, basically five and a half points went up to D7. Right. So it was quite heavy, heavier yeah. swing weight than, than actually my exactly. driver's even. So off the back of that, we saw a little spike in ball speed, okay. um, which, which is kind of what we would probably expect to see. Mm -hmm. um, club yeah. head speed dipped ever so slightly hmm. with the additional head weight, um, and your efficiency went up a little bit. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So first kind of thing, you know, it's all starting to make, make quite a lot of sense. Right. Um, so the first time I came, this was the first time I really kind of messed you up. So combo three was back to standard head weight, 206 grams. Right. But this time we added the multi compound midsize. Plus four, the plus four, plus one, right? four. So quite so a heavy grip. We went from a 52 gram grip, we added 15 and a half grams to the grip. Okay. So 15 and a half, half grams in the butt section. Yep. The swing weight went from D7 to C8.5. Oh, okay. So a huge difference huge between difference. those two. And that was one of the ones I was kind of talking to a little bit at the start of the, the, um, the video was, 
you go, you've got you know larger hands, you pick mm. up your M you know, your M five with your call it your stock hazardous yellow. Yep. Not quite as high balance point as, as Nemesis obviously, but it is a high balance point shaft. Right. All of a sudden your swing weight's completely compromised and, and you know or or it's lighter, not compromised, it's yep. just lighter. It's just way lighter. Might be better for you, but yep. uh, let's so let's see what that done. All of a sudden you significantly change the, the feel of the head. Okay. So from a swing weight perspective, um, lighter swing weight, you tended to Go lose right. more to the, the, okay. the right. So the head was rotating. A very interesting theme as we went on, any time lighter really occurred, okay. whether it be swing weight or total weight, you tended to hook it. Really? And yeah. is that a face uh, like closure yeah. rate thing? So Definitely. faster with light, slower closure with heavy. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so uh, combo number four. Um, so this one was probably the first time I went, okay, this is right around your territory. So D4.5 swing right. rate. Yep. yep. Um, it was the heaviest overall build mm -hmm. at 353. I definitely felt that it had the most. It had a lot that, of mass that fourth to combo. It. Yep. Um, and that's adding the heavy, keeping the heavy weight in the head oh, and putting okay. the heavy grip on. So balancing out at both ends. Right. So keeping it heavy. So on those, on those two, the difference was started to become quite a lot in terms of face angle. Yep. You really were able to stabilize the head, keep it more open. Yep. Um, so you know you felt obviously the head weight back again. And that explained why I probably hit some really left because mm -hmm. that's quite a big jump, I guess, going. I was probably feeling the head really rotating. Yep. And then we went heavier again and the, it was holding it off naturally from there. Exactly. Interesting. Okay. okay. So having a little bit of fun, we went to the 35 gram grip. Um, we went that we went actually went to the lightest grip, kept the heavy weight in there, oh, okay. and we went up to E zero. Okay. So, so heaviest swing weight by far. Yep. So the, the the overall weight. So if you look at this, these two are interesting. So combo, and we'll try and put these up in the screen. Yeah, for I'll, sure. I'll keep so we can we can put these up. So the overall weight has went down by twenty. Or sorry, went yeah down by twenty three grams. Right. Right. So. Um, 321 grams, but the swing weight went up to E0. Jeez. So the grip is 35 grams, the head weight's 215. Okay, and at that point you had heavy head, but it was very, very head heavy. Okay. And at that point you lost a little bit of a, a, the consistency lost of it. Lost a feel for it, yeah. So, you know, the most consistent one was certainly combo one. So dispersion wise, mm. you were kind of a little bit all at right sea with sure. that one. Yeah, um, for sure. so, it was interesting with the heavier head weights, normally if the club's balanced, you hit it a little more left. Mm -hmm. If it's too head heavy, you just lose it. Yeah, you just, you just completely lose it in both happen. directions. That, that was what oh, we, okay. we were finding with that one. Mm. And then in the last one, which was really interesting, um, was the combo six. Yeah, so what was Which that was one? the lightest head with the lightest grip. So the, the total weight went down to 312. So if you look at the heaviest combo we had was 353 mm -hmm. and this one was 312. Oh, okay. So, way so we had a 41 and a half gram difference. But a swing weight that should have right been good for me. right in your wheelhouse, D4.5. But I felt like I struggled with it. Because it was so light. Okay. So anytime you got light, you just couldn't control it. I mean, look what happened to your, your ball speed went up. Your club head speed actually went up. Yeah, yeah. Um, struck it better actually. Struck it more centered, but the face just wanted to snap. It really shut. wanted to close. Yeah. Um, so again, going overall very light was 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 really not a good combo for you at all. So me closing it more, I'm just noticing my path started getting way more into out at the end, and I was mm -hmm. kind of getting frustrated with it. Like what if I was kind of swinging differently? Yeah. Does it make sense that if the face is getting really closed, you naturally try to push the ball? Out more, I guess. Well, you would naturally try to keep the ball from going especially, right. Especially, especially someone like yourself, um, who uh, who kind of reacts a lot to what they see. Mm. So you take, you can almost take it like we always say, like pretty personally, how you hit, how the ball is flying, yeah. when it's not always really your fault. Mm. So you know the head was rotating quite a lot. Hmm. Um, so that that path was definitely getting a little bit more, a little bit more inside. This is crazy. Just, I mean, six different ways of setting up yeah. the same driver. Same shaft and same, same head, driver head, same, same loft and everything, right? And, and you can influence the swing weight. You know, the, the lightest we had was C8.5. Mm -hmm. The heaviest we had was, was E0. So basically 11 and a half swing weight points. Crazy. And then the different um, 
obviously weights, we had 353.5 grams was the heaviest overall weight. We had as low as 312. Hmm. So we could influence that by 40 grams. Just changing head weight and, and grip weight. It's wild. So really wild. Different things, you know, that we're always playing. I mean, we've got we've these little these little bins right next mm. to all our bays with different weights and different kind of things in there. We've got our uh, compressor where we blow grips on yeah, and off during grips. fits. If, if we don't see something working, we're able to make changes on the hop like that mm. uh, and be able to kind of start to work around all these changes. Um, so, you know, if, if I'm going to uh, if I'm going to beat the drum for TXG a little bit, this is not an experience you can get a, a demo day. I was just going to say, I mean, even if you've got interchangeable heads and shafts, yeah. that would be one combo, not six. 100%. So the weight change and grip change and obviously swing weight scale as you went. That's the biggest thing. Produced six different options within what used to be one option. You know, they don't have, you know, you're not likely to see the swing weight scale that, that yeah. you know, we have sitting with us by here next mm. to you've not got a weight scale you're, you know you're yeah, making you're changes at the, the demo day and here, yeah. unfortunately you know it's not you're not going to be able to to really get into the nuances of things that can make such a big difference mm. but to watch all you know all your changes as you went along was Crazy. really interesting but there. yeah some stuff for, for you guys to think about with regards to when you make changes whether it be adding grips taking grips away make sure you seek some proper advice oh, and, sure. and, uh, and even to be honest on online now you can get swing weight calculators if you go to certain websites uh, and you can put in, you know, if you've got a kitchen scale at home and okay. you can measure the, the, uh, the head weight, you can measure the, uh, the shaft with the grip on it. Right. So all you need to know is basically the weight of that grip. Go to the manufacturer's website, yeah, see there. what the, the grip weighs. Most tips are between 6 and 11 grams on, right. the, on the sleeve. Yep. Uh, you can find that out, again, online. It's not too difficult. And then you can start to know all your component weights. Well, that, that's the thing when, when it comes to changing grip size. If you're changing grip weight also, mm. well, what is it that's making the change? Is that's it the grip point. size or is it the grip weight that influences the, the, swing and, the swing weight and total weight? It's a good point because skinny grips like this, mm -hmm. thin grips, are always associated with being able to close the face more. And that happened, but it may actually be because it was light. Yeah. And then a big fat grip, it held the face more mm -hmm. open, but that may have been because of... I guess the swing weight or total weight being heavier kept the face more open? Well, what we tended to see was if, if you had um, overall heavy weight with um, a heavy grip as well, mm -hmm. you tend to hit it more left. So just a heavy club in general yep. went left. Yeah, so a bigger grip. Uh, mm, big, okay. Bigger grip and heavy head, you tended to keep to down left. the left side. On the last one, the combo with the lightest, smallest grip, and the standard grip, you you had the easiest time to release mm. it. So someone who's you know very much you know, struggling with, with a bit of a slice. Okay. You know, changing the, the set composition, you know, go to something like a Golf Pride Tour 25, mm. you know, go to a nice light head weight, something that they can really feel that they can shut it down. Perfect. It's kind of a sneaky draw bias. Very much so. And this is a sneaky fade bias. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's cool. Okay. Another can of worms well and truly open to your guys. Um, let us know what you want us to test. You yep. know, th this is the, the type of uh, video that, that sort of evokes a lot of thought. For sure. Yeah, blind tests, uh, it's basically just open season. We'll, yeah. do, uh, we'll do as many as we can and different suggestions you guys have and then integrate the build shop stuff. I think we can do probably gotta be 10 videos out of this at least. <laughs> Tons. Tons of things we can change from here. Great. Cool. Excellent. Okay, stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.